Last week, we shared the story of Gene Whitenhiller, a Prairie to Sac man with stage four pancreatic cancer, whose dying wish was to get as many Christmas cards as possible. His story has now been viewed more than 35,000 times, and it has touched hearts around the world. Jamie Perez now with an update. Since Gene Whitenhiller shared his story last week, I have stage four inoperable cancer. The outpouring of love and support has left him speechless. An overwhelming outpouring of love and support from people that I've never met. His story has touched hearts around the world and struck a special chord for these three men in Milwaukee. And we took it upon ourselves to go out our way at least two and a half, three, two and a half hours, two and a half hours away. To, to see the smile on this man's face, it was so priceless. After seeing his story online, Markeith Powell, Mark Wayne Given, and Earl Minley took the money in their pocket to buy cards and personally drive themselves to Gene's home. I was kind of nervous because we didn't know if he was going to be there or not. So we didn't know we was going to make a blank trip. But we, we cared about this man's story so much, we, we was going to wait out there for an hour or two or three until they come back home. That's how much we wanted to see him That's smile. The truth. Lucky enough, Gene answered the door. We knocked, we was nervous. He was like, bro, I'm nervous, bro. He was like, man, what should we do? What should we do? I'm like, bro, just, just be calm, just be calm. So we knocked on the door, and the, the smile on their face, it was just like they knew us already. Yeah, the greeters, they, they let us come right in. They told us, like, come, come in. in. Come in. I'm like, oh, okay, all right. Yeah. So we get in there, he immediately hugged us. He hugged us like he knew us. It was just like, it was so crazy. It was like beautiful. Was family already. It's an unbelievable experience that tugged at our heartstrings that these three young men had taken the time and the effort to drive over to personally deliver these letters. They hugged, talked, and prayed together. Like, I, he had won a million dollars. Like, he was just, like, so happy. He was just like, you guys are so beautiful. He kept saying that. He cried and cried. Oh, yeah. He was so shocked because he, the same day when we went, he got 3,000 cards in the U.S. mail. I think about them often. They're just three tremendously generous, kind young men. An act of kindness that Gene never expected, as these three men spent the day with a stranger who doesn't know how many days he has left. I contacted my son about coming back uh, to do a follow-up visit with us at some point. And we'd love to have them come back. For News 3 Now, I'm Jamie Perez. And that is just one example of the outpouring of love and support Gene says he has received since his story aired last week. Next week, Jamie will go back to Gene's home for a follow-up story on what this has all meant to him. And that story is scheduled to air next Friday.